Do I go to work or do I not go to work? Why would it even be a question? Because there's a winter weather event going on out there. It's December 28th. And door-to-door -door transit agency. Don't you think it makes sense to update your... The last thing they said was, as of December 23rd, here's what's expected. Here's what we say, given the fact that this is expected. The entirety of yesterday, I called and called. They still had the same thing up. This morning, I just called. I woke up about 15 minutes ago. This morning, I just called. The same damn message. You guys, it's happened. It's happening. Update your message, will ya? <sighs> Technically, I'm supposed to go to work today. I don't know whether to do it or not. My preferred ride service was completely unavailable. I had to set up door-to-door -door transit. Do I cancel it? Do I keep it? Do I... <sighs> There's a winter weather advisory in place into the morning, which means something might happen on top of what's already happened. <sighs> I don't know if it's a good idea to travel with that going on. I don't know why I'm telling this to YouTube. No matter what I do, somebody probably won't think I did the right thing on YouTube. Or, and or, it might be the fact that I don't know how much I trust myself to do the right thing. On the one hand, my boss would not have any problem with me just saying, you know what, I'm not going to do it. I've got the PTO, technically. I could do it. She told the team that like, clearly last week. On the other hand, I've got days that I want to take off, and if I take them all now, if I take all my PTO days now because I, I'm too much of a scaredy cat or a wimp or a whatever you'd call me to travel in this, I won't have any left for what I want to do. This is why I want a job from home or to have a thriving business that I run from home because then it wouldn't matter what the weather was doing. I could just do what I need to do like any other day. And let's face it, I haven't liked my commute since this job started. I've liked everything about this job except the commute and the one part of the job that I don't like after almost four years has just really, if I never had to deal with it again, it'd be way too soon. But I do have to deal with it until I'm ready to quit, so. That's why going into 2022, I would like to make one of my goals to have enough money coming in from home, from home ventures, that I can bring my money in solely from home. That's a tall goal, but it's a goal. But the question today becomes, am I going to go to work today or am I going to stay home and work my business? <laughs> Even working my business right now doesn't involve bringing money in right now. It involves catching up with work I haven't done yet. So where else can I get perspective if the door-to-door -door transit system won't update their greeting? Well, the only place I know to get perspective is from the news. Well, it's hard to tell when you're watching the news whether they're talking about your area and your workplace or a place that's 20 miles away from you. And I don't just mean the 20 minutes that you have to commute. I mean 20, 20 miles in the opposite direction, 30 miles in the opposite direction, 110 miles in the opposite direction, 110 miles your way but you're only going 10 miles of it because that's what happens when the news station may be located in downtown city you live in but they cover everywhere from city you live in to city 100 miles away from where you live in so it's like <laughs> where exactly is that what I'll probably do, well, I'll probably watch for myself 
for a while and then if I haven't made my decision based on what I've heard by then I will call Ira Ira is not a sponsor of this video but I can't say enough good things about them they are a virtual assistant service that connects you to a human being who can see and get on the internet or watch your TV screen with you and, and give you perspective beyond what the weather person's giving you or help you interpret the weather because they can actually see the weather map and see what the screen's doing better than what the weather people are describing. Because weather reports only describe so much, they expect you to look at the screen. Well, some people can't do that, so that's where Ira comes in. I'll probably call Ira. I know I'll call Ira in the course of making this decision. How much of that you will hear, I'm not sure, because I don't know how people who put videos of other people on YouTube do it. Frankly, I'd be afraid of getting in trouble, so I don't tend to do it much. <laughs> Let me give this a listen, see what I can find out. Right now they're talking about something else. Uh, all the areas out in the Fort Nome metro area covered with snow as well. The snow is still coming down. Kelly Bayern is in the weather center with an update on what's happening out there. Kelly. Yeah, here's the picture I took on Still coming down. That's part of what concerns me. 2.30 this morning. You can see all that snow that fell overnight. It started up yesterday evening really picked up through the overnight hours. Uh, in Portland, maybe up to about a quarter, half an inch through downtown Portland. Uh, I see maybe about a half an inch more for the majority of Portland before we start to taper off the snow showers today. We do still have that winter weather advisory in place uh, throughout the afternoon, but a good chance that a lot of neighborhoods here have a good amount of snow, up to about an inch or so with what came overnight. Quick look up towards the uh, mountain passes. That's going it's to what's down. still coming, and the it's fact that, I mean, I don't know if... Highway, uh, right around a thousand feet out towards the coast range. Uh, also covered well, that's higher up than my workplace, but out there. we will still see compact snow all day today. A little melting out there, an additional one to two inches across our passes as we head into our day. Again, snow showers will slowly taper off today, uh, but be careful on the drive up there. We've seen over a foot of new snow in the last 24 hours for our passes. A gradient the passes are way higher than I need to worry about, but. Low 30s right now in Portland will stay in the low 30s the rest of the morning time. A chance to still see a quick passing flurry. Quick look out to the uh, west sides. I still see those snow showers throughout the morning time. We could still pick up half an inch to about an inch throughout the morning hours. Uh, temperatures around Gresham, mid 30s. Up north, we'll also see those morning snow showers drying out. I might be overreacting, but on the other hand, I also... <laughs> Maybe this is one of these cases where I should err on the side of caution. And I'm so worried about my, my own inconvenience, but it's not just about inconvenience. It's about... I have a relative who's been in the hospital for the past week. She is... Well, she was in the hospital for a week. She is now in a care facility. She was in a car accident. Well, it was a car versus pedestrian accident where she was the pedestrian. At least the person who hit her bothered to stop. You hear about plenty of people who don't, but this person had enough of a heart and a conscience to stop and make sure that she was all right, which she wasn't, but the driver of the car that hit her and the people that were passing by were stopping and calling 911 and making her as comfortable as they could until paramedics arrived and took her and her broken up body to the hospital where she underwent surgery and started physical therapy etc cetera, etc cetera. now that's going to continue for months and you know people get into I mean weather related accidents this might be a good kind of morning for weather related accidents which I'm not interested in getting into one. So, and if I think I'm worried about PTO now, just wait till I go into the hospital, have to spend three weeks recovering. Uh, yeah, that just took every second of PTO I might've had. 
better to take three days now over this snow than three weeks over door-to-door -door transit bus versus vehicle. Neither one of you should have been out in this. Now you're all hurt. No, I don't need to do that to myself or anyone else. And as long as there's snow still coming down, I really don't feel good about trying to travel in it. Maybe I'll get Ira to give me some perspective. Maybe even next report. I was thinking maybe give it until 5.30, 6 o'clock. No. Why? Ira's available 24-7. By the way, let me clarify. My relative was not critically injured, but she has significant injuries that are going to have her laid up for a matter of months. She was really always probably in stable to good condition, but she, mobility-wise, she was just, it was taken out. Her mobility was taken out. Other than that, she's fine. But that's pretty significant when you think about the active woman that she generally is. This will help too. Uh, Ken, trying to get my earpiece worked up here a little bit. We're out here at uh, in Northeast Portland. We're at the uh, corner of 82nd and Sandy Boulevard, where, as uh, we mentioned earlier, it's going to be a uh, white Christmas. It's going to be a couple days late, but it is in full force here with the 7 Eleven on the corner out here. Or I just wanted to stop here and just give you an eye, a shot of what the top of the bushes look like here. There's a solid inch, inch and a half worth of very, very light and dry snow as we kind of take you on a little tour. That's about a hundred blocks away from my workplace, give or take. Downward for about a half, good half a mile up here, and as folks come from right, screen right, to screen left, up 82nd, uh, have to stop at that light at Sandy Boulevard. There's, uh, in the past, it's been a real difficulty getting uh, through this intersection when folks have to hit the light here, but the road's pretty well, uh, pretty well taken care of. I'm sure they have, uh, have looks like they've had de-icer in here. I don't, haven't seen any plows in the area. Uh, but the thing you'll be dealing with the most this morning is in your driveway, on your front steps, on your neighborhood street, because those roads are not going to be treated. They're going to be snow covered when you're going out there, quite frankly, uh, this morning. There's still a little, just a little bit of mist in the air, maybe mist flurries, just whatever you want to call it. It's right around 31 degrees, according to my car thermometer here. Uh, and some of the bigger roads, so your, your, your neighborhood roads are going to be difficult. They're going to be a little bit of snow, one and a half to two inches of snow, on, or inch to inch and a half, inch to two inches of snow, really, on a lot of the neighborhood roads. Those are going to be your biggest issue. These uh, main roads here, and I'm talking about 82nd, I'm talking about Sandy Boulevard and uh, some others here, those have been dealt with. They've been treated with chemical de-icer, and as you can see, uh, that has sort of prevented, uh, in some ways, uh, that's prevented the snow from adhering to the... Uh, to the concrete or the asphalt in any significant way here so it has turned it into slush and i can vouch for the fact that that slush is much more difficult to drive in in a lot of cases than snow is uh it gets under your car so now here's here's one of these situations right here carl these cars have pulled up here to the stoplight at sandy boulevard they're going south on 82nd here and uh I know everybody here for a fact does not have four-wheel or all-wheel drive here, so this is going to be an, an issue in some of these slushier intersections as you go out today. So just keep it, keep it in mind. See if this guy in the white car can get up the hill here. Yeah, he's going. Everybody made it up here, but that gives you just a flavor of what you ex what you can expect for the rest of the morning here, particularly if you're on some mild little incline. Just know that there's going to be slush on the road. Know that even if you have a four-wheel drive with uh, all-season tires like I do, you're going to slide a little bit. Take it easy. Take it slow because the snow has been falling slowly and steadily all night. And again, Ken, I will tell you, this is not the storm of the century, but an inch and a half to two inches of snow in just the right spots can cause some trouble. Your neighborhood streets look like they are all going to have snow on them this morning. We were over in North Portland last hour. I can tell you Vancouver has snow on the side streets. Uh, there's plenty of snow here on some of the side streets. And again, these main streets, uh, having been treated with chemical de-icer, are a little more passable. But there's going to be slush on the road, and that presents an entirely different set of problems. So you get your white Christmas. It's about three or four days late, but it finally came. Yes, it did. And as you say, not the storm of the century, but significant enough to uh, be aware and be wary when you're out there driving around. Thank you very much, Court. A TriMet bus in a car crash yesterday afternoon in Tualatin. This happened near Meridian Park Hospital. 
Officials say one person was hurt, but Police not was badly. Close to the hospital, a right? stretch of Southwest 65th was closed while crews moved that bus. And that was just one of several crashes yesterday in Washington County where temperatures were about five degrees colder than in Portland. That's not the county that I'm in, but that is exactly the kind of traffic trauma that I am thinking it probably is best if I not come in to avoid. And it's the fact that there's still a winter weather advisory in effect and still snow may be coming down. I don't know if I'll ever feel good about the decision I make. It probably has to do with the fact that I still have a hard time trusting myself. And that's because certain relatives would say, well, what reason do you have to trust yourself? When have you ever made good decisions? Well, those are the same relatives that I don't live with or that I limit my contact with or that I, if I don't limit my contact with them, I limit what I talk to them about because that's not what I need to hear. I don't know whose definition of love that is. The kind of person who, if you love me, you will make sure I don't do anything wrong. Well, there are people like that, but that doesn't make your loved one feel loved. That makes your loved one feel like they're a stupid idiot that can't make any right decisions, which doesn't help them trust themselves. <laughs> Part of me might just as well just decide, I'm not going in today. Why do I need perspective? I'm just not going to come in. But I'll just have Ira take a look. And then I'll probably still say, you know, I'm not going in when there's a winter advisory and, a, and snow potentially still coming down throughout the day. And just let the crap come in and stay off the roads while the crap's coming in and then figure it out tomorrow. I could get door-to-door -door transit both ways and then cancel the one that I'm supposed to be able to cancel if my preferred ride service doesn't cancel. Call her for free from phone button. Call her calling agent. Hi, I have almost made my decision to not go to work today because of weather, but can we watch the news together and like, can you give me an idea of what is going on? Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned with, uh, I live in Northeast and I'm traveling to uh, 700 feet elevation. Quick look at the radar. That snow is starting to shift Can you see towards the, screen, the okay. east here. Still some light lingering snow showers around uh, areas of Portland. Same for down the valley into Salem, out to Corvallis and further towards the south. Notice the coast. Uh, we're starting to lighten up those uh, showers there. So we're expecting to see dry conditions as we head into our afternoon. That goes for the coast and also here in Portland. Still stuck under some of these showers here. But again, that moisture will shift towards the east. Quick look at our future cast. This model showing just that. Don't be shocked if you do see, still see another round of some light flurries this morning morning at times, but we are lightening up that moisture and today we're expecting a dry afternoon uh, and also expecting to see a few sun breaks as we head our way into today. Now, that implies something Wednesday, might melt, also but... expecting to see a dry day tomorrow. Yeah, Chilly temperatures to start as we push out the clouds through the afternoon, expecting dry yeah, weather which is even some sun breaks too, so tomorrow will be a beautiful day. About three uh, hours uh, after my shift it starts. Sure. So it sounds like if I tried to go to work now, I would still be traveling like in it, like there's still a winter weather advisory in effect and there's still something still might be in the process of coming down as we're trying to drive. Yes. Yes. Maybe I can make it in tomorrow. Over the coast range and spots, we could even see some Maybe I could rain. make it in today, but I just don't feel Thursday. confident. Seems to be really active now. Right now, throughout the morning, it's still pretty active. Yeah, she was, her model showed till noon, and then by noon, it pushes off east. And so the precipitation will be stopping, but then you'll still have rain and snow on the ground.
which will bring up the question, of course, everything's going to be freezing, so is it going to be in any condition to go tomorrow either? Well, let's deal with today right now. And sure. the more I'm hearing, the more I think I really probably maybe just shouldn't. Good morning. I welcome to TriMed Lift. For trip status, press 1. To cancel a trip, press 2. Five, to change your password, two. press 3. Cancel. To cancel a single booking, press 1. To cancel all bookings for one particular day, press 2. 2. Cancellation of all bookings on one particular day. Please enter the date of the trips you wish to cancel. Tuesday. You have selected Tuesday, December 28th. You have two trips booked during that time. To cancel both of these trips now, press 1. All of the trips have been canceled successfully. Messages. Message. Text field. Is editing. Hi. The weather is reporting things still active through this morning, and I am just not comfortable trying to travel in it. I won't be in today. I'm sorry. Let's hope for better tomorrow. Send. Button. Send message. I bet she texts back and says, don't be sorry, it's fine. Don't get into a car accident trying to get here. We'll see you tomorrow, we hope. <laughs> My workplace is really cooler about this stuff than I'm being right now. Most workplaces aren't, so I've got a lot to be thankful for. Even though I really just want to work from home, I've got a lot to be thankful for with the workplace that I do have. <sighs> you know, just talking about what's going on with me, talking about how I'm feeling, talking about this stuff. If anyone can relate to this and be like, oh good, I'm not alone, I think it's nice. And, you know, I like to watch YouTube vlogs, so this is kind of my version of that. To any of you who actually enjoy watching my vlogs like I enjoy watching other people's vlogs. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, I say watching, but you're mostly listening with my videos. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I might just end this video here. Well, I won't end it now. I, I might kind of leave it sitting here able to be <laughs> added on to for a little while longer, but there's probably not much else to say. I'm not going into work today, and I'm going to be doing business stuff, which most of it won't bring in money now because it's making right on what's already been done. Let's just call it that. Um, and my goal in the future is to not let myself fall that far behind again. This client's so cool about... You know, she's like, there's no deadlines. I'm really, you know, we're just archiving it. There's no, I'm not worried about it. Well, as a business person, I should be worried about it. And you guys deserve better than that. And now you're on hiatus and it's time for me to catch up with you guys. And that's what I'm going to be working on today. See, I told you the boss would be totally cool. She's like, no worries. <laughs> so... That feels as complete as it's going to feel. Um, I don't know why I still feel, ugh. Maybe because I'm worried about the PTO. If if I had, once I have 72 hours worth of PTO, I can't accrue anymore. That's like three and a half weeks. If I had that much, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. But I only have like a week and a day as of last time I checked and I mean, I'm worried about taking much now because, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I've already got time, like, in 2022 that I want to take. I've already tentatively taken it. What I'm concerned about is if I take all the PTO that I've got now, will I have any left by the time... I mean, I'll have some left, but will I have enough left by the time those days roll around that I actually have the PTO to take it? Well... I'm just gonna, I, I need to do what's right in bad weather.
And what's right in bad weather is to stay home and wait it out. And, you know, maybe some people would say I'm overreacting, but it's just, it's, I'm not going to worry about it. If I have to, I'll adapt my PTO or maybe I'll be able to go in tomorrow so I won't have to take tomorrow off, which means that's one more day of PTO than maybe I would have otherwise had. Maybe I won't have to take uh, Thursday off, which means that's another PTO that can stay, a day of PTO that can stay in the bank. And by the time I start accruing again, that week will come around and I'll have plenty of time. Maybe I should just plan on that happening instead of thinking of all the ways that things won't work out. I don't know if it's the fact that I tend to be a half empty kind of person, glass half empty kind of person, or if it's the fact that I've had disappointments in life or what, but I tend to think about what am I going to do when the worst happens? Well, maybe if I could think about how possible it is that the best would happen instead. Maybe I would just be surprised at how much things would work out after all. Well, it's time for me to get serious about, like, getting productive today. Um, I've just edited this vlog down. It's time for me to sign off and get serious about making this day off a productive day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Check out Ira. Check out Shipped. Thank you, Coin6, for the weather information and the road perspective. Thank you, Ira, for confirming what I thought I was hearing. And I will talk to you in the next video. You will hear from me in the next video. <laughs> Bye.